I'm here to clear up a few different myths really quickly on fish and color. There's two main factors. One, the body of water in which the fish resides, and two, the individual fish's ability to see color to begin with. And this deals with the amount of cones they have in their eye. Now, here's the thing. Fish have different degrees of cones per species. So for example, twilight feeders have less ability to see color as per se a daylight feeder like a bass or a pike or a trout, okay? So the thing with that is, is none of it matters as much when you consider the body of water that fish resides in. Water itself is a poor conductor of light. Light is 100% needed to see color. So the more that body of water has particles and turbulence that will break up light, the less any organism can see light to begin with. So you combined a fish with poor color differentiation with a body of water that's really dirty and now color is a quite minimal factor in catching. Thing. There is a lot of information out there that talks about how um, different wavelengths of light, different wavelengths of color can penetrate through water better than others. So for example, reds don't penetrate as deep as like violets or blues do, do in a clear, perfect situation body of water. But real life proves never to be that perfect and most of us are fishing a body of water that has plenty of particles in it. And here's the thing, those particles are reflecting light. They're scattering light throughout the column, which really dissipates the ability to see color in general. So even as a human, if we're down in a dirty body of water, we're gonna lose the ability to see that color much quicker than if we were in a super clear lake. If you have a walleye that is a twilight feeder and it has a limited amount of cones in its eye and it is present in a very turbulent or a turbulent and dirty body of water, that light and those wavelengths are getting reflected so rapidly that their ability to see color is very subjective. It's very minimal at that point. And determining which wavelengths they're seeing is really not based on fact, but on a lot of theory. And what instead is important is that contrast. So they need to see that object. And that's why a lot of times walleye will feed up or any species will feed up in low light conditions because they're looking at that object with enough light from underneath to see how it contrasts the background. So hopefully that so finally, this is just a little bit of a ton of information that goes into how fish see colors and objects um, in different conditions. Of course, I recommend you go out and look at reputable sources of information yourself, come up with your own conclusions, and then apply that to your fishing technique. Information does not create an amazing fisherman, time on the water does. However, it can help you make more ed educated decisions and help advance whatever strategy it is that works for you. I also recommend that you look at reputable sources such as government sites, educational institution sites, and research papers, as not all information out there is created equally.